sharing their views, you know, their views about the, uh, the more general views about trends and about the user assistance community. Um, uh, I've got a few questions myself, which I'm going to ask, and I hope there may be some time for you to throw in a few questions of your own. So we'll get going straight away, but I'll, I'll introduce the panel briefly. You've, you've, I don't need to do it in detail, because I'm sure you've spoken to some of these as you've gone around the exhibition. We have Dennis Crane from Indigo Byte Systems, uh, the Doctor Explain tool. We have Tim Green from EC Software, they're uh, behind the Help and Manual tool. We have Anka Jane from uh, Adobe, he's the product manager of uh, Adobe RoboHelp. We have Mike Hamilton, who is a VP of Madcap Software. And we have uh, Martin Petz, who's from the MindTouch uh, company. So we've got a really good uh, range of tools represented here. Now I thought what I'd do first of all is uh, just to ask the panel um, what, what in their view is kind of the most, maybe the top three critical features or critical aspects of an effective health system. Um, so Tim, how, how about you pick us up on that? Uh, we don't get enough microphones. You do get a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Your theater voice. Yeah, I'm going to give them two mics and they'll pass these, up. they'll share these around between Okay, them. I, I thought about this quite a lot, and I think as a tool vendor it's probably a bit of kind of plastic to say, but I think that the technology is completely irrelevant. Users are not interested in the help technology, they're interested in getting answers. Um, if you could produce a Mickey Mouse doll that gave you the right answer when you patted it on the head, everyone would have one on their desk. Um, I would say that the, the three most important features of a help system are accessibility, um, helpfulness, and honesty. And um, which translates to ah, which is the noise you make when you get all three of them. <laughs> uh, accessibility is obvious, it means you get the, you get the answer you want quickly. You get it when you want it. And the user doesn't care how they get it. If they're not getting it from your help system, they're going to Google it. Um, helpfulness is, it answers their question. That's fairly obvious. And honesty is a very, very important point that I think a lot of us, when we're writing our help, tend to misunderstand or get around. Um, what I mean by that is when the user consults the help, it's because they're hurting someone. A user regards time spelt consulting the help as wasted time, as non-productive time. And um, when they're consulting the help, they want an answer to a problem. And if that problem is a weakness in your software, and you prevaricate or try to avoid it, they're going to go somewhere else. Not only are they going to go somewhere else, they're not going to come back. And they're not going to trust your help anymore. And users aren't stupid. So, if you're not clear about your own limitations, you're really going to do something very bad to the credibility of your own help, and that's going to make them much less likely to access it again later. And so that's why I would say that honesty is a very important factor. <coughs> Thank you. Thanks, Richard. And Martin, can I ask you to chip in on that? Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, I think really using the power of your of your uh, community is probably something that might help give you an effective help system. Um, I think, <laughs> thanks, Anne. Uh, I, I think a community feedback loop is very important, um, and you know hooks into social networking uh, features and, and applications like Facebook, uh, Twitter, things like that. It's also very good, very important um, way of getting an effective help system. Um, but I, I think there's a, another level here, really. I think we need to start using technical documentation to uh, drive the top-line revenue in the company. Um, I, I think you can, you can increase sales by doing that. You can also help the bottom line by saving support costs by having an effective help system. So I think those are, those are two things that, that really people should be thinking about. Sure. I mean, there's, so there's, there's companies in the US, uh, Autodesk, an AutoCAD company, um, right scale, a, a, a cloud computing company, uh, and, and Mozilla as well, the, the uh, producers of Firefox. 
they they um, are using dynamic web-based authoring to, to really get communities um, and, and collaborative authoring around their products. Um, so I, I, that kind of gives you effectiveness in your help system that you didn't really, people probably haven't even thought about before. So, so it's really, um, really collaborative authoring. Uh, I think people in your community that are helping you to write your documents and, and, your, and your help system are using, are using phrases that people in that same community are using to find your documents. So, so it, it tends to uh, increase your, your, your Google rep ranking right. when, when you're, um, when you're um, getting your products out there. Well, we're going to move on and we're going to be discussing uh, the idea of user contribution to help in more detail uh, in a few minutes and also we're going to touch on Google. Uh, Mike, can I pass over to you for having any thoughts on this idea of an effective help system? Um, is this on? Okay, there we go. Um, what first comes to my mind, and this might seem kind of anti-question, but don't be a help system. Be an information system. More and more help is just one component. I know from experience people get really frustrated when the online help tells them one thing. They go to an online knowledge base that tells them something else, and then they call technical support and they get a third answer, and they all conflict. So that's another important thing is, is kind of point number two, the doc team should not be in island. You have to be working together with the other departments so there's one cohesive message going out and it's the correct message. And to, to add on to the, to the previous point, we can't forget that this is a business as well. There is a business aspect to it. I've seen teams that have created amazing documentation systems. They meet the customer's needs completely, they win awards, but they forget the business aspect. And despite all of that, they're looking for work next year. So we always have to realize that there is a business component to it as well, whether that goal is to reduce help desk costs, reduce tech support costs. So we have to meet the needs of the customers, the end users, and we also have to meet the business needs. Thanks, Mike. Uh, okay. Sure. So, can you guys hear me? All right. So I think there are lots of good ideas and things that we just talked about. One thing I want to add to this is uh, uh, it's all about helping the right people, finding the right content at the right time through the right medium. And if that means that all of the right content is there in the health system great, if that means the content is spread across blogs, wikis, Facebook, other platforms, user forums, I think these are all great sources of information. So perhaps you know we need to make sure that our users have access to all the good information instead of having to go to multiple different places. Perhaps have more of interactive, rich documentation available, which can which can be used also to engage your audience. And I think this is what Anne also talked about in the session yesterday. It's very important to build communities around your product, uh, engage your users, get feedback, uh, and improve your documentation over a period of time, which means you need to know what is being accessed, how people are using it, what are the kind of things they're looking for, and make sure we have all the right content available for the right people. Uh, and that means you need to have persona-based content, or you need to have more collaborative approach with uh, authors collaborating between themselves, with end users, uh, with the subject matter experts, with the developers, with the community. I think that might be uh, the way to go. Sure, thank you.